The Archbishop of Melbourne has admitted the church covered up allegations of sexual abuse by priests. Dennis Hart told Victoria's Parliamentary Abuse Inquiry that the church takes full responsibility for its actions, but his contrition provided little comfort for abuse victims and their families. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports from Melbourne on Archbishop Hart's long-anticipated appearance. Much of the focus of the parliamentary inquiry into abuse by organisations has been on the crimes committed by Catholic clergy in the Ballarat region of central Victoria. But the state's most senior Catholic was today addressing the situation in the nation's second largest city. My evidence today will solely refer to the Archdiocese of Melbourne. The inquiry was told that of the 1,748 priests who've worked in Victoria, less than 4% have been sexual offenders. 59 priests, according to Archbishop Hart. At the same time, the Archbishop recognises the damage that's been done to the 300 victims recorded in Melbourne so far. I acknowledge that our incapacity to see and to react to this situation in a timely way has given rise to the need for this inquiry. I understand that the community is looking for someone to take responsibility for the terrible acts that occurred. I take responsibility. The head of Melbourne's Catholics admitted one of his predecessors, Frank Little, who's now dead, covered up abuse claims and kept no record of them, something Archbishop Hart agreed had been systemic in the past. Your church systemically covered up pedophile priests knowing full well that that's what they were. I do recognise that and I do accept that. Archbishop Hart was questioned at length about why it's taken so long for the church to act against pedophile priest Father Des Gannon, who's been jailed twice for sex offences against children while working in Melbourne. So you're saying he lost his faculties in 1993, is that yes, correct? that's right. And it took to 2011, 18 years, for well, you to contact Rome? There would be very few uh, who would have been uh, laicised forcibly um, until the late 2000s, until after 2002. And we were quite determined to get something done uh, about Gannon, uh, and uh, we are still determined. 18 years, 19 years later. Well, better late than never. As Archbishop Hart was reading his final statement to the inquiry, victims, their families and supporters staged a dramatic walkout from the committee room where the hearing was being held. For many who've had to deal with the Catholic Church over the years over their abuse claims, an apology won't be enough. And they're hoping that this inquiry will lead to dramatic change. What we heard today was a continuation of the same theme that we've been hearing about out of the church for at least 15 years. It's been the same story, the same defences, the same lame arguments from them time and time again. I think this committee's heard them. I think we will see this committee cut through those defences and we expect great changes. The inquiry has one more public hearing left and it's probably the most anticipated. Next Monday, the former Archbishop of Melbourne, Cardinal George Pell, who's now Archbishop of Sydney, will give evidence. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Late Line.